NFTs, or non-fungible tokens, are most widely known as Ethereum-based digital assets. That's until January of 2023, when something called inscriptions enabled NFTs on the Bitcoin blockchain. OnChain Monkey was one of the first collection of 10,000 NFTs to be inscribed on Bitcoin. Danny Yang, a Bitcoin OG and CEO of the startup behind OnChain Monkey's MetaGood, explains what Bitcoin NFTs are and what's next for this innovation. There are a few terms that are kind of confusing. Let's go over and define some of these terms. Okay, so there's Ordinals of Protocol. That just, just defines the whole thing, right? Like all like this whole class of new Bitcoin NFTs is, is falls under the Ordinals protocol. That's what people run. Like people run a node and they run the Ordinals protocol on top of the Bitcoin node. The Ordinals protocol was developed by Casey Rodemore. Then you have an Ordinal itself. So the Ordinal is, is like the, uh, you could say the NFT. So you could say an Ordinal is your Bitcoin NFT that we're talking about today. Um, so an Orno has two parts to it. There is a Satoshi and there is an inscription. The inscription is the data asset. It's like the image of the board A or for us, it's you know, the on-chain monkey. It could be an image, it could be text, it could be HTML, it could be code. So the Orno has an inscription tied to it and it also has the Satoshi or the marked Satoshi. Satoshi is the smallest unit of a Bitcoin. The Orno's program is about how you can order these Satoshis and, and track them through the entire protocol, the Bitcoin protocol. With the Ordinal protocol, an inscription is paired with a Satoshi and your NFT is permanently part of the Bitcoin blockchain. If I inscribe something, like I inscribed on Chainmonkey on the Bitcoin, right? When at the point of the inscription, basically uh, there is a Satoshi that is paired with that. So they're tied together. When trading Satoshis around like trading Bitcoin, the inscription determines who owns the Ordinal or Bitcoin NFT. So, how can you make your own NFT? Right now, uh, the tools are not the most simple to use. However, because it's an open decentralized protocol, anyone can create Ordinals. The way that we did it, and how I guess more technical minded people do is they download the actual Ordino protocol, right? So the org client, and you can go to, you know, Casey Rodemer, he's the main developer behind it. You can download his GitHub and run it. So you need to run a Bitcoin node and your, and then the, the Ordino protocol or Ordino node on top of that. For the non-tech savvy folks, there are no code inscription tools like gamma.io. To get started, make sure you have some sats so that you can pay the transaction fee. So far, Ordinal NFTs are still relatively new. Their accessibility is limited as the ecosystem builds out. But, Yang says, this will ultimately be good for Bitcoin. I think we'll see a growth in Bitcoin because of the NFT market. That's, we saw that with Ethereum and others, right? Yeah. NFT market helped grow the, the chain. So we'll probably see that with Bitcoin. And because Bitcoin is the most valuable, you know, highest market cap chain, and mm -hmm. also the most decentralized and most secure, We'll probably see a move of basically like the highest value NFTs will want to be created on Bitcoin because of its, its properties.